G'day folks. Well, this is a uh, compressor autopsy on a Manurop, uh, was it MT28JE5NVE single cylinder R22 compressor. It's uh, made for Danfoss Commercial Compressors Australia. It's a 240 volt single phase unit, uh, 16 amps maximum, locked rotor amps 55, mineral oil. Yeah, something horrible happened to this compressor. It came from Danfoss with a load of junk. New old stock stuff. It was a used compressor thrown in with a lot. I'm just turning the uh, crank sharp. I can hear gas escaping past maybe a blown head gasket or something like that. just isn't compressing. Even if I hold my thumb over the discharge and turn it, there is absolutely no compression whatsoever. So either a blown gasket, cracked cylinder casing or maybe a uh, failed reed valve. More than likely a reed valve but I'm going to pull, cut this thing out, pull it out and we'll have a closer look at it to see what happened inside this unit. The motor would be fine but it's just there's no compression. It's not doing anything. Okay well conclusion of this autopsy is bad reed valves. The piston and ring are fine. This compressor's run quite a few hours. There's definitely a lot of wear and wear on the skirt and everything. The oil's used. Um, it's not a new compressor that was built faulty to begin with, but the uh, suction reed valve has warped. Either that or it was installed upside down. And um, it doesn't seal under the compression cycle. I mean, if you really spin it hard, like I pushed and pulled the piston up and down the bore as fast as I could and it would, every now and then you get a little pop as it would compress and pop the discharge valve open but most of the time it was just pushing in and out of the um, in and out of the uh, suction side so either the valve was installed incorrectly to begin with or it's just warped it looks warped to me no matter which way I sit it on there doesn't seal properly. Yeah, I suppose if you flipped it over it'd probably work a lot better. But I don't know whether that's the manufacturer's fault. I believe these are supposed to be perfectly flat. But this one is not. So that's the problem. The suction reed valve has failed. Discharge one looks flat and when I was able to get compression it made a nice pop as it opened. But yeah, it's just an unfortunate failure. I've also heard of these failing head gaskets, but that's not the case in this situation. It's also it's probably to do with certain refrigerants eating them, especially the uh, uh, lowered pressure ones, the uh, R404A and R134A. R22 with mineral oil is pretty, pretty, pretty safe for metals and things like that, especially aluminum head gaskets. I don't know where the one on this one is. I don't even think it has, an, has a separate head gasket. It just makes up to that nicely machined face. Oh, no, sorry, the valve body is the head gasket. That's it there. Yeah, alloy head gasket. Looks pretty good too. So there you go. It's not a new compressor, but it's definitely a stuffed one. The gudgeon's got a bit of wear on it. It's been spinning inside its journal. The chrome's worn off it showing a bit of copper tinning. So yeah, it's just done quite a few hours before it failed. Quite a few. Even the big end. You can see where some of the honing is missing. Yeah, the top of the big end on the, on the thrust point. There. Yeah. It's not, it's not sloppy, but it's loose. It's worn. Oh well, thanks for watching. There's another one, another one down.